IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, I'm Ian Cull, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on volatile organic compounds. Volatile organic compounds, or VOCs for short, are a broad classification of organic gases with no strict definition. There are over 10,000 chemical compounds that can be classified as VOCs, depending on your definition. Many products, such as building materials, cleaners, and personal care products, use chemicals that can be classified as volatile organic compounds. The VOCs can escape off the product and enter into the air. This emission is referred to as off-gassing. Product off-gassing is highest when the building material is new or right when the cleaner or personal care product is applied. The question then becomes, how long will the off-gassing last? And there are too many variables to give a simple answer. Some VOCs evaporate quickly like the ethanol and hand sanitizer. Other VOCs off-gas more slowly, like the naphthalene or PDCB found in mothballs. Temperature is also an important factor with higher temperatures contributing to greater rates of off-gassing. One study published in the Indoor Air Journal found that the average time range needed to elapse following renovation activities before normal levels of VOCs were reached was in the range between two and eight weeks. Whenever possible, use low VOC products that have been certified by independent third-party organizations such as Green Guard and Green Seal. Ventilation is always important and will help supplement your strategy to reduce VOC levels. If you would like someone to evaluate your home, school, or office for VOCs, Visit the IAQA website and click on the Find a Pro button on the homepage.